Syracuse, together with others, during the period 1939 to 1945, caused the killing of millions of Jews in his capacity as the person responsible for the execution of the Nazi plan for the physical extermination of the Jews, known as the final solution of the Jewish problem. Eichmann's attorney, Dr. Robert Savatius, opens by denying the legality of the trial and questions the jurisdiction obtained by Eichmann's forcible capture. Dr. Savatius further suggests that Eichmann be tried by a neutral or international tribunal. Israeli Attorney General Gideon Hausner, the chief prosecutor, replies that no one except the State of Israel has sought to bring Eichmann to justice and cites the Nuremberg war crimes trials as precedent for this trial. Throughout, Eichmann remains icy calm, his fate at last in the scales of justice.